Hey guys, Bilal from Zenfinity.net, and in this video we're going to talk about creating custom shapes in Unity using meshes. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so the advantages that we get from using meshes over using sprites in our shape creation is that we don't have to use the rectangular bounding box that you normally get when you're using a sprite, because you can use vertices to make any kind of geometric shape. So the main three parts of our uh, mesh are going to be the vertices, triangles, and UVs but we're not going to be talking about UVs at all in this video just because they don't really uh, have any merit to our purpose. So I hate to take you back to elementary school, but vertices are just going to be these little points on the sides uh, or as the corners of our shapes, um, and triangles are going to be that kind of fill um, that are totally based on the vertices. Uh, now that's basic stuff, um, and the vertices array inside of a mesh object is going to be built up of multiple different uh, vectors, so you know n vectors. And in this example, we have four vectors that represent four points in our rhombus here. Um, so in this uh, last part, we see the triangles array inside of a mesh, which are a little bit different than the uh, you know vertices array because the vertices array has uh, multiple different vectors, whereas the triangles array only has integers, and uh, it's because one triangle is actually represented by three of these integers, and they're selected just by every three integers becomes a triangle, which is why your mesh array has to be a multiple of three. Sorry, your triangles array has to be a multiple of three. So as you can see here, each of these vertices are represented as an index pulling a value from our vertices array. Just to point out that our first triangle here is using the zeroth, first, and second elements out of our vertices array to make one triangle, so then Unity will know to fill that area in with a triangle. And the same goes with our orange one, with indices 0, 2, and 3, pulling out the correct uh, vertices just to make that triangle. So now that that's all cleared up, we can go ahead and just try and implement this inside of the editor. It'll be pretty basic stuff. Okay, so there's some really basic stuff that I have to show you, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do them. Uh, so here in our hierarchy view, I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to create a new game object here. Uh, I'm just going to name it our square renderer. Now, um, our square renderer is going to be responsible for running a new script that we're going to write, which will uh, generate this mesh square here. So to render any sort of mesh, we need two things attached to our square render, or I should say two components. Uh, the first one is going to be a mesh filter, which is going to store our mesh data. And the second one is going to be a mesh renderer, which will uh, have all those sort of options for how to actually properly view it. Um, and right now, we don't really need to change anything on those, uh, just to do this first part. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new c -sharp script by pressing create and C-sharp script, and I'm going to name it mesh generator. Okay, so in the mesh generator, um, after we have this open up, uh, we're going to have a couple things that Unity will access. Um, and actually right now, I'm just going to start out with um, creating all the features for our first square. Okay, so we're only really going to be using our start function here. Um, and we're going to choose a width and a height for our square. So our width and height will probably just be 1 for now. Uh, sorry, 1. And in our start function, oh, sorry, wrote width again. So height. And in our start function, I'm going to create uh, a new mesh here using the constructor. Since it's not a Unity component, it's just a regular class. Um, and we'll go ahead and make us a an array for our vertices. So their vertices equals new vector three. Um, with a size of four. And if you're not familiar with the ver keyword, all it means is that it will be this type. So I could actually just write vector three like that to express that the type of vertices is a vector three array. So moving on. Um, I'm not actually going to do anything with the UVs, but I will go ahead and set all of our vertices according to a square. So I have vertices 0 be negative, uh, sorry, will equal a new vector 3, 
of our negative width and our negative height. And I'll copy this down a couple times. And we'll do one, two, and three. So this last one will be positive width, negative height. We'll do positive, positive on the second uh, index. And we'll do a negative width on the first index. And that should get us our four corners for a square. And this is just obviously uh, basic math. I'm sorry, I've had this error sitting here for a while. I'm sure you got bothered by that. I'm sorry. Um, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to edit our mesh object here to change its vertices array to just be that array that we just created of all those uh, points. And our triangles, like we talked about, are going to use all of those. So we just need to set our meshes triangles to a new integer array. And we can use this integer uh, constructor. If you're not familiar with this constructor, basically I can just write in all the elements I want uh, to create a new integer array. OK, so like we said before, we want the triangles to match up with all the corners. So I'm going to pick the first um, sorry, first verte vertex over here as the first index, and then the second and third. Of course, um, first, second, and third as in since we start from 0. Um, and for the second triangle here, I'll pick the first, third, and fourth vertices. OK, so that should set our triangles and get us the mesh correctly. Now we just need to make sure that attached to this game object, we tell the mesh filter, sorry, mesh filter, that this mesh is the one that we want to display. So we'll grab the mesh filter component, and we will set its mesh to be this new mesh that we just modified. Um, and we can actually hop right back into the editor and see how this works. Um, so I'm going to go to our square renderer and add the mesh generator. Oops, sorry, add the mesh generator as a new component, and now we should see our square pop up here. And uh, it's of course purple just because we didn't set any sort of material, um, and this is just the missing texture you know, uh, what it looks like when there's a texture missing. So we're going to go ahead and actually add on a material here because, you know, uh, nobody, you might not want a purple square, of course, and you want to modify that. So we'll have a public material mat, and Unity should now serialize this, and it should pop up on the right here um, and allow us to choose a material. So I'm going to create a new material so that we can actually put that in there, and we'll just call this one square mat. Square mat. Um, and I'm going to set it to be a sprite shader. Yeah, so a default sprite shader. Um, and I'll set it to be some sort of blue color here. Like around that. Okay. Um, and that should be all good. Now we just want to um, go to our mesh, or actually our square render, and we want to drag this square mat into here. Now that should uh, set it to be blue now. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Actually, we need to edit the code to set the material. So our mesh, um, I believe after the triangles, mesh.material. Oh, actually, this should be our mesh renderer. So get component mesh renderer oops, dot material should now equal mat. And uh, we'll see how that goes. And our square does end up using that material as the color. But uh, like I said, this is all really uh, basic stuff. Um, if any of it didn't really make sense, uh, it should in time. I would say, you know, read up on it or just actually you could even watch the video again. Um, it's really uh, nothing, nothing too complex. But, but that's going to be it for this one. Um, so... If it helped you out, make sure to hit the like button, and if you want to see you know, more tutorials like this, hit the subscribe button, and you'll get updates every time I you know, make a new video, make a new tutorial, and whatnot. Um, and we're also uh, doing stuff over on the website, so if you want to check out zenfinity.net, there'll be a link uh, 
in the annotations and in the description below for you to check out you know new blog updates and resources so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time